Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. This is a Dollar Tree haul. It's not a very big one, uh, but it is something that I needed to tape because I know I've had it for a while. <laughs> and well, I need to tape it so that I can share it with you. So let's start with the Valentine's Day items first and foremost. They have the wooden stake signs that go in the yard or you can have them inside the house. The conversation hearts, the first one says, sweetheart. Second one says, be mine. And the third one says, love. Because why? All you need is love. -na 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 -na. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. Picked up these hot sauces. Um, I want you to know that they had these hot sauces. They had like little wedges of cheese and hot mustard and stuff, which I thought was pretty neat to find at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it was like name brand stuff, but I didn't pick up any of it, but I did pick this up. These are from Aztec's Revenge. This is the Garlic Ancient Flame hot sauce. Thought, try it. Then there is this one that is the Montezuma's Vengeance. This is, I think, Cayenne. Cayenne pepper. And then the last one is Flaming Rage. This is a jalapeno sauce. So picked up those and I actually picked up three sets. I picked up a set for each one of the boys for their like stocking stuffer. And then I saw this from Special Moments. It is an LED photo clip string light set. That's what it looks like right above there. It's got 10 little clippies. Um, I do have stuff in this back. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I apologize. They had this from Crafter Square. It's the permanent writable white sticker. And it was just like this. See how the box is like smushed, smushy smushed. And it was the only one they had in the whole store. And this was from out of town. I even asked the manager, do y'all have any more of these? I said, because it looked like it looks like maybe this was found when y'all were doing inventory. And she was like, no, it's whatever's there. Which, isn't that what they always tell them? Isn't that what they always tell us? It's whatever's there. Um, I found some really cool NASA puzzles. These are each 100 pieces. I thought that they were really cool. So let me show you the ones that I picked up. Um, all of them are for eight and above. Uh, because they are fairly small pieces. But the first one is the astronaut. Then there is the shuttle. Then there is like the rocket here with like the galaxy. Again, all of these are 100 pieces. There is the galaxy. A galaxy far, far away. Then here is the planets and it has, of course, my favorites. But here's my absolute favorite, which is Saturn. I wish they would have had one that just like had a close up of Saturn. That would be badass. Then they have the rover. Is that what it's called? That thing that scans. And then I think that's supposed to be the burning hot mass of sun. So there are those if you're interested. In the way of food, um, I got a mini Panatone from P Paducah. This was another one of the things that was like in the Christmas gift section. I forgot. That's that's where that was too. They had the mini Paducos. And then they had these from Harry and David. And I want to say it was my cousin Anna from Only My Dreams that actually said that these were like gourmet. That like their name brand and they're really tasty. So I went ahead and picked up one of each to try. This is Harry and David Moose Munch. This is premium popcorn. And this first one is in dark, dark chocolate. I personally will not eat dark chocolate, but my oldest daughter loves dark chocolate. So I picked up that for her. Then they had the classic caramel, which is, I guess, kind of like a high-end version of the Cracker Jacks. And then they had the milk chocolate Moose Munch. So if anybody's tried these, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts because I was kind of interested, like, and I haven't been able to try it. And to be honest with you, since I don't have any taste or any smell, 
I won't even be like if I opened it right now I wouldn't be able to taste anything I thought about doing like a taste test for you guys but it wouldn't be honest because I literally have absolutely no taste um, then they had the Hot Wheels monster trucks um, there's the bone shaker this one is the Roger Dodger the names are here on the side in case you're interested and I know I'm sorry with the plastic there's probably a glare so there are those two then there is the lava shark and the bone shaker oh that's a double sorry got two of the same one so let's forget the second bone shaker so this is the mega rex and the lava shark monster trucks from hot wheels i'm sure these were meant to be stocking stuffers like that's why they were brought out um my son-in-law collects them so there's that now they also had the minions these are hot wheels as well they had auto they had kevin They had Bob. They had Stuart. Stuart! They have Stuart. So teeny that car, that's cute. And then they have Young Gru. And then the last one that they had is Carl. So Minions Hot Wheels for a dollar, in my case a dollar twenty-five because they've popped prices up to a dollar twenty-five at all my Dollar Trees. That's pretty good, right? I thought so anyway. Um, then they brought back these little They almost look like Shopkins. No, not Shopkins. What is it? Sum Sums. They have Blues Clues, which is my favorite. They had Superman. They had Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. Gosh, who wanted that? I can't even hold it in my hand. I was trying to hold them together. And then there's they also had Batman. So they had those superheroes. Then I'm pretty sure this is from Ryan's World. I can't stand this little kid, but I picked it up. I took one for the team in case you guys like Ryan from Ryan's World. There's the Ryan out there too, and I'm sure there's probably other costumes that he's wearing but that's all I found I don't know what this this is also from Ryan's world oh both of these are from Ryan's world so this one says his name is Gus and I don't know what this one is supposed to be but so then there's three superheroes there's three from Ryan's world which are these three and then there's the blues clues so I got those then they had quite a few Barbie selections okay and these are called barbie dreamtopia so they had this with the tray the tea set the little cake teapot this is for i got this these for my daughter to give to her it's the little girl that's in her life um then they have these princess accessories so it's got like the tiaras and the necklaces and then I picked these up and I kind of thought maybe I shouldn't because they kind of look like stripper shoes. I mean, I'm just being honest. These are called fairy accessories, but look at those shoes. They kind of look like stripper heels. But anyway, that was available. And then I'm going to show you some other items. Oh, these are all repeats. Yeah, I've hauled these before. They just, they're just the regular Barbie accessories. We were thinking that they were different, but I now seeing them, I know that they're exactly the same. Now here is something that's a little bit different. This is the Barbie Chelsea set. It's got like the backpack and her little neck pillow. So that one is different. Then there's this little princess accessories. Look, they're different. 
There might be doubles, so I just I won't show I won't share the doubles. Here's another Chelsea backpack that has like a little flag and like a little sippy cup and then something else there at the end. Let's see what else I got in here. Oh, and I've picked up these before too. The little the bunny, the dog, and the kitten that's in the accessories as well. So if you're interested, if you're in need of any Barbie accessories, you cannot beat it to get it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. And then I thought these were cute too. They had the kitties and the puppies with like their own little beds, the bowls, the little carrier cases. And last but not least. I got a Blue's Clues shape puzzle, 24 pieces, and it's actually shaped like the thinking chair and magenta and blue. So I thought that was so stinking cute. And if you will oblige me so very, very quickly, I also want to share with you something that I got for Christmas. I got it for Christmas. And it's been sitting here for a while, but because, as you guys know, I was battling COVID, I had not um, touched it or opened it. I wanted to wait until I started feeling a little bit better, trying to put all these Barbie accessories away so that I they don't go flying everywhere. Let me share with you real quick what I got. So from BarnesandNoble.com, it's super heavy. I got Paul McCartney, the lyrics. And this is... As you can see, A through K, L through Z, there is that hottie of hottie McCotty right there. And it is all the lyrics of all his songs. And I love myself some Paul McCartney. I've always loved anything with the Beatles. It's a love that I learned from my mom. I just love the Beatles. And so when I saw that, I had to have it. That's the one person that I have always wanted to see in concert. That's like a bucket list kind of thing for me that I, to this day, have not seen. Um, but I would love to. I finally got to see Elton John. Um, he was one of my ones on the bucket list as well, but also Sir Paul McCartney. So that's one of the things, if I ever get a chance, if he comes on tour again, hopefully I'll be able to attend. But that is it. Oh, no, it's not it. <laughs> Hold on. Don't leave. They had all this new city beauty, city color uh, lippies also. They had the lip liners in like this pink, maroon, and like a mauve color right there. Okay, these are all from something called city color. And then they had all kinds of different lippies, like tons of different lippy colors. Um... And I wanted to share with you one in particular that's called Brick. If you are a Selena fan, and when I say Selena, I don't mean Selena Gomez. I mean Selena um, Quintanilla Perez. You know, on the radio. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Um, her signature color that she would wear back in the day was um, Brick from Coco Chanel. Now, Coco Chanel stopped making the color brick, but if you happen to find this city color lipstick at your local Dollar Tree, this number 43 in brick, right there, 43 brick, it looks an awful, awful, awful lot like Selena's Coco Chanel brick. And the reason why I'm telling you that is because even though they have stopped making it, I still own it. I still own my brick Coco Chanel um, palette, lip palette. It's a, it's a compact that you open up with lipstick with the brush. Um, and I can t honestly tell you this, this is the exact same color for $1.25 in some places a dollar. So this is number, again, if you want that exact color that she wears that's on the on most of her pictures where she's wearing the red and all over her microphone, it's the Coco Chanel Brick. And this is number 43 Brick in the city color. 
And again, they have tons of colors to choose from. Tons. Um, I got one of each. I don't want to waste time to show you all. Um, because, I mean, I'm sure that's boring. At the time that I picked them up, I was super excited like to come and swatch them for you all and stuff. But with me not really feeling well, I don't really want to be messing with lippy colors right now. Because I don't want to like infest or infect or get germies on the lippies when I'm not 100% back to normal. So hopefully you'll forgive me for not, you know, sharing with y'all, like, each individual one. Um, but they are out there if you're interested. And it is a good brand for the price. So I wanted to share that with you all. So that is it. That is all for this small Dollar Tree haul. I'll be coming back. With the Scentsy Warmer of the Month for January, I know I'm really late. I know it's way past January the 1st, but I still want to come and share it with you because I have it right behind you. So I do want to tape that. And I still have my Target haul, so make sure you come back for that as well. And I, I have to say once again, I love and appreciate each and every one of you for the kind words, for the private messages, for the direct messages, for the Insta messages, for anywhere where you've contacted me through my actual work email. I love you all. I appreciate all the thoughts and prayers, the suggestions, the words of encouragement. I can't thank you all enough. I appreciate it so much. Wildfire and her living lover are both healed 100%. They're doing much, much better. So thank you all for asking about them as well. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and close. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It lets me and YouTube know that you like these kinds of videos. Also, if you haven't joined the family already, what are you waiting for? All you need to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell next door for notifications as to when I upload a new video so you all don't miss out on any of the fun. And for now, goodbye from Texas.